welcome back to the channel Old Beans. Uh, nice to have you with us. Uh, today something different, a bit of a spotlight, in fact a showcase basically of how to build a Belgian army in 1940 using 15 millimeter and what's available and how did we do it. I'm going to entitle this series Bands of Brothers. Um, I wanted to start with the smaller lesser known nations such as the Belgians because although they may not be a big feature they are a massive factor basically in wargaming this particular period. A very large number of divisions mainly infantry they've got all sorts of support weapons in there rather unique and often sort of widely overlooked uh, in, in, in this uh, wargaming uh, period. Now they are very similar to the French and bear that in mind. Uh, they have cavalry as well and a lot of uh, troops which basically support them although they are heavily motorized. Uh, a lot of their troops also are bicycly uh, ridden uh, into combat and there are two main types. There's the Chasseurs Ardennes with that famous green beret that they have and the general um, Belgian infantry which tends to be equipped with French equipment. Again, bear that in mind. So what we have is support weapons, tanks uh, and, and vehicles uh, as well as a few anti-tank guns and transport equipment. Most of this has all been purchased in. Um, so, you know, you can get hold of some of these models, but th some of them are quite unique and the, and the helmets and things like that. I do recommend this series, Hitler's Blitzkrieg Enemies. It, it gives you some nice color plates, but you'll find a lot of information out there. You're just a click away on the internet, guys. So you can find out about T-13s and T-15 tank destroyers. And there are makers, uh, which I'll get into, which, which provide these models. They have unique service and, and markings. Um, here's just an, an indication. And you can get these at larger scales, but they're okay for 15 millimeter. Right, let's take a look at uh, a spotlight on the manufacturers because you're going to need a lot of infantry and support weapons. And are they out there? Well, the answer is yes. QRF provide the Chasseurs Ardennes. Uh, you can get hold of those. And they're a great little uh, figure manufacturing company. Uh, they provide Belgian infantry as well. But I tend to go to Forged in Battle for the general infantry and, and use their French uh, packets. Uh, they've got a mega deal there, which is really worthwhile. Uh, for the vehicles, again, I recommend Gaming Models because he does all these sort of unique uh, Belgian uh, equipment and, and I think that's great, including some trucks uh, as well. QRF do these too, uh, so you can sort of build it up. Okay, let's take a look at uh, the Belgian army I've built. As I've said, a lot of this is through QRF, forged in battle. Um, very little from Battlefront. Um, the key thing here though that what you can you can actually do is by looking around at these other manufacturers you can in fact uh, build forces which perhaps aren't available through uh, the mainstream so to speak. I also happen to like them, I think they're good value for money. Um, here we've got some of the uh, QRF uh, Belgian infantry. Um, I don't know how much this cost to put together but it wasn't as much as if I bought through a, a mainstream supplier. Um, I also like Forged in Battle and I think they produce some of the nicest figures out there. I've done a lot of conversion work here you can see on the cavalry uh, which I've basically got again from QRF with lots of head swaps. Of course my favourite uh, good old Craig at uh, Gaming Models. Uh, here are some of the tanks. I've nearly finished them, just got those bases to do and I'm only waiting now for uh, some motorcyclists in pith helmets to really uh, you know, finish this for. What's important guys is that the similarity in uniforms between say uh, the French and this is what I bought is French and painted them up was that you know effectively all you need to do really is swap out I suppose a flag and you've got the French forces as well. Obviously the armour is different, the uniforms are slightly different but at 15 millimeter, I think it's rather important that uh, you know you do the best you can. You don't. You can't get it all right, and there's also a cost factor. So you know we're looking at there's about uh, eight infantry platoons down here, two companies which I can effectively build into anything I want. There's any combination force necessary to fight with all Belgian forces through Blitzkrieg. Yes, a lot of painting. I paint in a quick style, uh, but all of these sort of things can be achieved uh, very easily and very quickly, especially if you're using soft tone washes and highlighting up. 
I mean, I stick all my figures down on the base, I spray the whole lot, the base color, and then basically I start all that detailed tracking and stuff like that. Um, again, you know, I picked all these vehicles up. These are, uh, again, from gaming models, really cheap, really great little models and unique. You can't get hold of them anywhere else. Um, I think QRF do produce some, some nice kits as well. Uh, I've used bits of Plastic Soldier Company, probably the best value for money out there in terms of plastics in my opinion. Uh, great value, and alas they don't do uh, the lesser known nations. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this sort of flyover and you get an idea of you know how we've built all these forces up that are gonna be you know fighting over the next uh, 16 or 17 days uh, for the uh, the freedom of Europe. And um, you know, it, it is very difficult when we're constantly uh, trying to get information and get information uh, across the, uh, through the video medium. We can't get it right all the time, but we do our best. And I think, you know, at the end of the day, if people have uh, ideas, information, especially maps and stuff like that, please send it in to us. Okay, well, uh, uh, that's the, uh, the video flyover. Let's return to the video. Okay, let's start by looking at the uh, headquarters company. Notice all the bicycles. They're separate, so you can mix and match them, and move them around to make bicycle platoons. There's medics in there, engineering officers, all the type of characters we need in the game. Uh, a closer look here, you can see we've got both command teams for uh, the Chasseurs Ardennes and for the infantry. Uh, here we see the uh, horse artillery that we've uh, managed to basically put together. A lot of our artillery is off table uh, used basically because it won't be that close to the front line. Uh, for in, in terms of infantry, the standard sort of uh, infantry figures, uh, again, we place four on a base rather than five. It gives you more figures. Uh, it's less to paint. Uh, they look just as good. And uh, in my opinion, you know, you save a few quid as well. Uh, we've got generally when we build companies we build with at least three to four infantry uh, platoons in mind that seems to be about the standard size and these chasseurs Ardennes and the um, forged in battle uh, infantry they come up really really nice uh, we've got some support weapons as well anti-tank guns not a lot of anti-tank guns guys because they didn't have a lot we've got the armor you know those two t13s and t15s and the cavalry we had to do some conversion work on again QRF and uh, other manufacturers, which we've mixed in with some infantry to make a, uh, an interesting base. And ultimately, uh, what's left turns into some fortifications. So I think that basically gives you an idea of what and how we've done it. I could go into a lot more detail, but basically I want to encourage people to consider the lesser known uh, nations when they put on their war games, because they were a big part of these initial uh, battles. We'll have the Dutch coming up soon, uh, we'll be showcasing them. So uh, stay tuned to Blitzkrieg and um, continue to enjoy and support us. And thanks for that as well. So it's over and out for me. Hope you enjoyed this quick showcase. Bye for now.